Yo, yo, what up, hype man? It's your boy Sports and back on the channel again today for you guys with some more that Dragon Quest 11. Now, uh, oh, my headphones are dirty. Um, last time I was on this, we only played for about an hour. It was late last night. I was tired. I got to figure out a way to, you know, be able to stay up and stream some more for y'all. But anyway, with that being said, guys, we're going to jump into it. Dragon Quest 11, Echoes of an Elusive Age. Let's ride. Ooh. Here we go. So we ended up in the church. So we gotta go. All right. So we gotta step on up out here. Cobblestone, eh? Never heard of the place. I never even knew anyone actually lived in those mountains down south. Is that really where you're from? I'm guessing you want to go see what's happening down there, but you need to be smart. You won't get past Hendrick unnoticed. If you're going to make it there without getting caught, you'll need to avoid the main road. And if you want to do that, you'll need my help. I know every back road there is to know in these parts. But I've got things to take care of in Heliodor first. I left a little something in one of my old haunts downtown, and I need to get it back. So, are you coming along for the ride? I did help you break out of that dungeon, remember? That's the spirit. But we can't have you bringing us any unwanted attention. Ah, I've got just the thing. Here, put this on and keep your face hidden. Otherwise, you're gonna get nabbed as soon as you set foot in Heliodor. That's more like it. If you're gonna be a wanted man, you might as well look the part. Right. Let's head north and hit town. Glad you're coming along. The seer told me to stick with the luminary when I found him, and that's just what I'm going to do. Alright, a pep haver is an incredible ability that can be performed by two or more party members when at least one of them is pepped up. Select pep powers from the menu when it appears to see what exciting ability you can unleash. Depending on the tactics each character has set, they'll either perform pow powers automatically or await your orders. Take uh, take a look at the traveler's tips for more. Alright, so now so now that I have Eric uh, let's go Tactics. Eric, follow orders. Confirm. Alright, what's character builder? Okay. Let's go ahead and give Eric something. Let me see. What I want Eric to have. Do I want him to have a sword, knives, or boomerangs? I think I want him to have boomerangs because boomerangs hit everybody. So we're gonna have we're gonna have him do boomerangs. Um uh, see. He does have to have boomerangs. That'll work. We'll do something different this time around. <clears throat> Where am I going? Head through the hill door. Oh wait, there's a there's a quest back there. Uh, so that blue-haired chap with all the uh, with you, it's called Eric Easy. Well, he looks like he knows how to handle himself. You, you picked the worst traveler companion, that's for certain. Now, tell me something. Have you heard of pet power? Is there, is there special attacks that can only be unleashed with the help of companions? Basically, they're what happens when spells and abilities are mixed together in various combinations. And believe me, they're well worth learning. Uh, let me see. I can see I piqued your interest. All right, let me think. Oh, of course. I've just got one of you. One for you. I'm pretty sure that if you and your friend Eric put your mind so you'll be able to match a little cracker 
known as the Real Decoy. All you need to do is team up and try it out on some hapless monsters. Uh, you'll soon see how incredible he is. Well, what do you say? Fancy giving it a try? Uh, sure. Enough to get you there. I'm sure now, listen to me walk through. Once you take it out of Monster with the Real Decoy, come back and let me know. Okay. All right, sounds good to me. Can I go down this? Yep. Yeah, most of the time with the uh, with the whales, you go down the whales and stuff. Pointy hat. I wonder, can I speed the battles up? Not harm some shit. You can definitely tell you buff. If I attack all the like if I attack all the monsters on this road, will they respawn? I gotta start attacking the same monsters too. Medicinal herb. I'm just curious about that. Like, wow, well, like, like this might take a little bit longer because I want to see what happens when I fight everybody.
can see them walking in the background. That was pretty easy. What I want to do, if that happens, if they disappear whenever I fight them and they don't respawn, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to fight all the monsters uh, to get some grinding in. Um, uh, so I can... Um, dang, what am I trying to say? Um, so I can... Yeah, so I can gain my levels like that. I don't think I have enough for anything, do I? I got two. I got the Wayfarer I can do. Boy, the Luminary. Uh, that's a great sword. I don't know why it told me two points was enough to get anything, because it's really not. Okay. Right, so let me back. So let me go back. So far, they're not respawning. So, wait, where do you come from? Is he chasing me? I might just fight what I see coming forward. But I know I need to grind a little bit. If not, I'm not going to be nowhere near ready to take anything on. It's not really going to be grinding. It's just going to be... Like fighting the monsters that I see. I took three off the platter pump, so might as well go ahead and knock him out first. Another one bites the dust. Get a bunch of medicinal herb herbs, though. I kind of wanted to get my pet power up to, 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 to do that side quest, but it would be all right. I might get it up later and come back. Welcome to downtown Heliodor, home to rogues, ruffians, and all my other favorite kinds of people. About a year ago, me and Dirk, my partner in crime, managed to uh, acquire one of the royal family's most precious possessions, the Red Orb. They got wise and pulled me in eventually, but not before we'd stashed it somewhere safe so we could pick it up later. Right down there is the biggest, stinkingest garbage pile in all of Heliodor. Me and Dirk buried the orb slap bang in the middle of it. After all, no one would ever think of looking for it there. 
Time to go liberate that loot to the garbage pile. All right, so let's go see what we got. Let's see if we got any uh, boomerangs for... Yes, we do. Okay. All right. All right, so we are... I think we're good for now. We'll get more money as the time goes by. This is the spot. Keep a lookout, okay? I'm going to grab the loot. Now, it was around here somewhere. It's definitely here. I'm a thousand percent sure. Uh, it's not here. Gotta be kidding me. Me and Dirk were the only ones who knew where it was. Wait a minute. That rat! He must have done the dirty on me and taken it for himself. Damn it! I should have known! A thieving little... Wait till I get my hands on him. I'm gonna find him. And you're gonna help me. Okay. The inn we used to crash at is just over there. Come on, it's the only one with an upstairs. You can't miss it. All right, going to the inn. There's armor right there, but like I said, we'll... we'll... Wait. Did I miss some? Yeah, I need to go to some of these houses and stuff because some of them got pots and stuff like that. Well, no, not there. Nope, nothing in here. Nothing in here. Nothing in here. Come on, go. Uh, I think that's just the end. That's where you go to sleep, so. I can mean, check. Ah, oh, there's some pots, okay. Alright. to lay low here whenever things got hairy. Ruby? Ruby, you there? It's me, Eric. There's something I need to ask you. Ruby runs the place. Looks like she's not around, but if anyone knows where Dirk is, it's her. Which means we'll have to go find her. So here's the plan. There's a tower they use to look out for fires. You're going to climb up there and keep an eye out for Ruby. I'll check a couple of other spots. Don't worry, you can't miss her. She's the only redhead in town. Okay, so we gotta climb this tower. Did I go in here to see if there's anything in here? Yeah, okay.
Yeah, you need magic keys to open these doors. Well, we found Ruby. Let's, uh... Some more pins and a half of planks again. Okay. Well, that sucks. you any luck you saw her heading back to the inn great let's head over there and find out what she knows all these cut scenes back and forth back and forth back and forth Isn't my favorite landlady. Welcome to our rumble. <gasps> Strike a light! If it ain't my favorite little tea leaf! Last I heard, they'd locked you up and thrown away the key. Bang about. You've gone and escaped, ain't ya? You and your friend here are the few everyone's talking about. Well, I know not to stick me big nose in where it ain't wanted. <laughs> you... Don't worry, I won't be here long. I just need to know where Dirk is. Have you seen him? Dirk, eh? Now there's a name I ain't heard in a while. Didn't he open some fancy shop up by the castle? Yeah, that was it. Breaking in the cash is, or so they say. That can't be right. The rent up there is crazy. Where would he find the money? Wait a second. He sold it, didn't he? The rat sold the damned orb. Look, in this part of town, you don't go asking too many questions. You know that. If you want more, you'll have to get it from the horse's mouth. You're right. Thanks, Ruby. I appreciate it. We'll get out of your hair. <sighs> that no good traitor! I'll bet he sold me out and sold the ore, and all so he could move up in the world. Well, I'll get what I'm owed. You'll see. <sighs> but we'll need to get past that sentry if we're gonna head uptown and find him. Wait, isn't he... Yeah, I'm 
remember hearing that one of the guards is terrified of dogs. I think it was him. Maybe we can borrow one of somebody. All right, let's see. Uh, I forgot where that dog was at. I think it was here. Might have been closer to... There we go. Uh, nice one, Bullseye. That great big coward guard nearly weed himself when he saw you. Uh, what you <laughs> Man, I can't. some people who talk on this, I'm like, oh, my God. Uh, you, what, you want to bomb my dog? Uh, you're having a giraffe, ain't you? <laughs> Look, I ain't got time for this. Go on, sling your, your uh, Bullseye is a lone wolf like me. I'll uh, take count of the strangers. Uh, but you know what? Some oily water and a buzz barrier too might change mine. Uh, we go up and, my God, like I'm asking much, just go and shake a tree and grab some berries in it. Uh, go out of town, down the walkway thing, and straight on. Big tree, funny berries on it. <laughs> it's the oily water. Um, that's easy, buy it from the shop. And remember, I didn't say oily water or buzz berries. I want them both, otherwise no deal. Okay. Jesus. Good Lord. Where's the, where's the shop? Am I going to? Yeah, I'm going to right. Okay. Do I have enough? Oh, it's only 20 G. Alright. Alright, so, and I got the buzzberries, so. Something meant for me, you know. Oh, I'm trying to see all the water bugs right here. Let's see now. Yeah, that looked like what I asked for. Bomb, you actually bought it. Mug. Uh, favorite buzzberry, I'm sure, right? Good, ain't they? Let's sprinkle all the water on you, shall we? Now the monsters are clear when you're going outside town. Uh, what? Don't look at me like that. Bullseye looks after me, and I look after him. Anyway, a promise is a promise. He's yours for a bit. Look after him, all right? Boys, out. listen, boy. Go and play with that nice man for a bit, okay? All right, come on. Where we at? Come on. Halt! This gate leads to the nice part of town. My job is to protect respectable people from being bothered by rabble and riffraff. In other words, you. <laughs> ah! No, no, not a, a, a dog. Anything but that. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Worked like a charm. Now to head up to where all the rich folks live and find out what the heck Dirk thinks he's up to. We was just up here. Then we got locked up. Probably gonna go to another cutscene too, by the way. I lied. We're good. Alright, so now let's see. So we're back where we had that one, what you call it? Going in people's houses and stuff. Uh, I think this might have been a book that I already. Yep. I wish I could. Okay. So yeah, I've already been in here. So anyway, um, let's see. I'm trying to remember.
Um, yeah, there's a way to get up there. Let's see. Is there a... Let me go... Go to church. It looks like there's a lot there. Look like there's like a bridge or something up there. I forgot how to get up there because I know that's what he's waiting for is that dagger. What you call it? So let me go. Okay, so no, it's not up here. Let me uh. Um, there's nothing down here. I'm trying to think. I know the cat's not far. Don't remember how to get up there. No, can't go there. Okay, so I might have missed that one because I think that's the way you got up there. Because look, yep, there's a line up there. Dang it. Oh, I remember that now. Crap. So I have to come back. That sucks really bad. Okay, uh, where we at? Dark shop. Um, well, shoot, I'm gonna have to get up there somehow. not there. It's behind this house. Ah! Okay. I should still be able to find the cat then. I don't think I can make that jump. Yeah, and I don't think I'll be able to stick that landing. So. The cat is right there. So how the crap do I get up here? Looks like there's a... Can I go in there? Crap! I didn't jump. I didn't jump high enough. That cat is right there. Hey, I got him! Yeah. Okay, so now I can go talk to the little girl. She only had kitty litter, so it really wasn't nothing really big that she was giving me. But in order to, you know, get all these side quests and stuff, 
That was driving me crazy. Is what it was. <laughs>